All right, we're here at Southern Skies uh, construction trailer, and we have Blake Smith, who's our chief science officer. And so, just to help Mississippians understand a little bit better, we're trying to explain that cannabis is really medicine. There's really some really, really good medicine. There are a lot of conditions that Mississippi has allowed patients to use cannabis uh, to treat. So we were going to try to talk about those lists of conditions specifically and then what specific cannabis uh, product can help you with those conditions. So we're going to let Blake, we're going to put him to the test and uh, throw <laughs> questions at him. We're going to try to stump the chump today. So Blake. I am a chump. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, Blake is our chief science officer. Um, he's from Utah, but he's going to help us set up our lab here. He's going to be the one that's going to be directing all of our extraction processes. And extraction means we're going to extract the medicine out of the plant and then put it in a different form to deliver it to you. Uh, we'll put it in gummies and chocolate bars and tinctures, uh, drops you'll put under your tongue, uh, tablets that you can put under your tongue. There's a number of different avenues to get the medicine from the plant into a person that's needing it for their medical condition. Spinal cord and, and um, severe pain. I mean, chronic. Let's, let's talk about chronic. Oh my gosh, we got the best story ever. So what does chronic mean? Chronic is not just a type of strain of marijuana. The word <laughs> chronic means you can have a chronic cough. It can be, right? I mean, yes. So when you're talking about chronic pain, it is habitualized pain. That could maybe be bad. Chronological time period, meaning that it's it just keeps on happening. It's over a long period of time. Right. Yeah. So how do you deal with what is how does cannabis how can it help with chronic pain? Oh my gosh. Well, cannabis is probably chronic pain is probably the most prescribed thing for cannabis um, or recommended. Um, so so here's what I would say. Let's be really smart about when we talk about chronic pain. I have lower back pain. Right. It's a result of arthritis, for example. Okay. Um, and in my particular case, you know, I used to be pretty active when I was younger and so forth. And so I have injuries, um, back from when I was young and being, yeah, being, bulletproof. Being, being bulletproof. Um, so, you know, even in the case right now, like I was told I needed, uh, surgery for both my shoulders for my rotator cuff, reaching for a shirt in the morning is painful. Yeah. That's just, yeah. I mean, debilitatingly painful. Right. Um, well, in my case, it was scar tissue and inflammation in my shoulders that was causing the issue, right? So if I can lower inflammation and get more movement back, I can break up the scar tissue, which causes more inflammation. But if I can lower that inflammation and now no surgery, I can move my arms, no problem. It literally is CBD and CBG that have done that. Wow. And so, um, so it depends on the type of pain in the case of like instant onset neuropathy, where you all of a sudden you just get shooting pain. That's a nerve function. Lowering inflammation is not the right answer because it does, that won't fix it. THC is the right answer. You actually are going to mask that pain, right? And so what is causing the pain? Is it arthritis? Is it inflammation? Is it a result of injury? And so different combinations of CBD, CBG, and THC are appropriate. So spinal cord, let's say that there's a severe spinal cord, and, and I've only had my back go out on me twice. Both times was excruciatingly debilitating. I mean, yeah. to the point where you, the, the pain was so intense and over such a long period of time. I mean, it, it, I would, would have almost said, just kill me. I can't do this anymore. Got it stretched out, got all the stuff fixed, but cannabis can help like that kind of pain? Yeah, it absolutely can. And a lot of that's just masking. In the case of spinal cord injury, so there's a difference between severed spinal cord and obviously spinal cord injury. So what I'm going to say is just generally this. Um, there are some individuals who even with severed will still times, sometimes get phantom pain. Right. There are, it's similar to, it's similar to phantom leg uh uh, limb yeah, when somebody has an amputation like um, really you're gonna mask because it's not a function of um, of inflammation and so forth now there is some evidence to suggest that part of it is nerve function and you can treat it with a cannabinoid called CBB and CBB 
seems to help with actual nerve functioning. And so that could be relief for a lot of those types of, of ailments. Wow. CBB is extremely rare and extremely hard to come by and there's not a lot of data around it yet. So at the end of the day, I would love to have piles of it and do a billion experiments. But here's what I think we're gonna find. As of right now, masking is appropriate in all of these cases. And um, we will find out more as we find more cannabinoids and isolate those cannabinoids and run studies. We may find all kinds of other, you know, cures and answers to a whole bunch of different things as we continue in this process.